Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. All right, so now that we know how the tool works and hopefully you've got it downloaded so you can follow along, let's have a look at a couple of scenarios. To start off with, we're only going to look at the linear method and uh, the fixed ratio method and compare those two side by side. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to add on the Larry Williams method into the mix. Let's uh, input our basic parameters. The starting balance, um, I recommend using a balance that's uh, close to you, close to your situation. So for some people it might be uh, $10,000, for some people it might be $500. So you notice how the balance chart is changing as I input uh, different values here. Um, we're going to start off with a $1,000 balance. The starting lot, once again, whatever is comfortable for you, whatever you would have uh, traded comfortably with, having this kind of starting balance. Of course, one lot is too high, probably 0 0.1 lot is um, more appropriate for a $1,000 balance, maybe even less than 0 0.1 lot. Um, but we're just gonna keep it one lot for now, um, just to be consistent with the other examples that we looked at in the previous sections. Uh, profit per lot, here you kind of need to look at the average profit per lot that you've had in the past couple of months. That's what I would do anyway. Um, you can put in an you know, estimated profit per lot or a desired profit per lot, anything basically. So you can put in $100, um, you can put in um, let's say $200, um, it might be $500 for some, but just remember that when you are checking this number or deriving this number that it has to be um, per lot. So not just your profit uh, per 0 0.1 lot, if you've been trading per 0 0.1 lot. You gotta take your profit um, and divide by the number of lots and then take the average across the trades that you've had um, that you wanna look at. Um, fixed ratio delta, so this is um, something, a parameter of the fixed ratio method, something we discussed previously. You've got to come up with this parameter yourself, um, but. The good news is you have this tool now and it will help you come up with this parameter. To start off with, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change a number of orders. A number of orders here basically ch just changes the uh, visualization. It shows you more or less orders and in this case we wanna see more. So let's say we wanna see 20 orders. As you can see, we just see more on our chart, that's all. Um, let's start off with 20 and see how we go. Starting balance a thousand, let's keep it at that. One lot, profit per lot 250. Let's see what happens as we change the delta. Um, right now, where, where we are at is by trading one lot with the linear method, we would have gotten from $1,000 to $6,000. With the fixed ratio method, we would have gotten from $1,000 to $16,000. And bear in mind, here we're using exactly the same strategy, exactly the same trading strategy uh, is underpinning both of these um, examples. So um, we're not changing in any way how you enter trades, how you exit trades, how long you hold your trades, whether you or not use a trailing stop, what indicators you use. All of that is exactly the same. The only thing that we're changing is the way you manage your money, the way you reinvest your profits. And um, with the linear method, you only get a profit of $5,000. With the fixed ratio method, you get a profit of $15,000. So that's triple the profit in the fixed ratio method. And that is just within the first 20 orders that you send to the market. Um, now, you kind of, it kind of starts making sense how uh, Ryan Jones was able to make uh, those crazy uh, profits in short periods of time. And... Um, and why his focus was not his trading strategy, but his money management strategy. Okay, so now let's have, so that was our first scenario uh, with this fixed ratio delta of a thousand. Let's say you wanna be more conservative, conservative and you want to uh, change the fixed ratio delta to something higher. So as we discussed previously, you are, um, you're staying in each step for longer. Let's change it to $2,000. Here right away you can see that we were able to do much uh, fewer steps and but on the other hand we stay within each step for much longer so we stay within each step for um, around eight uh, eight orders so if if we do have a loss then we have enough time to correct it within 
uh, that same step with um, and that means there'll be minimal uh, impact or the impact will be um, uniform on our account in a way meaning that you won't have that Larry Williams trap that we were talking about uh, in the fur in one of the first sections of this course so um, more conservative trading but on the other hand less profit so in 20 trades from $1,000 we got to $10,000 and um, that means a profit of $9,000 as opposed to a profit of $5,000 in the linear method so it's still a very good result it's nearly double the linear um, method result and uh, it is quite a um, conservative approach to your trading but now if you want to be a bit more aggressive let's say instead of 2000 or 1000 you set the delta at 500 mm -hmm which basically means you can see right away from here 250 and 500 that it only takes you uh, two trades to proceed to the next step every single time in the fixed ratio method. So in that case with the 20 uh, orders that you have um, you will get through 10 steps because it takes you only two orders to get into a new step and you can see how drastically that affects your balance. So from uh, $1,000 in 20, just 20 orders with this setup, uh, you are able to go to 20, 28, somewhere around there, 27 or $28,000. So that's $26,000 profit in just 20 orders. Once again, this is a hypothetical scenario and we are looking at uh, one lot when our starting balance is only $1,000. Um, but you're welcome to change these around. So let's say it was a $10,000 starting balance. That doesn't change much, right? So you just have more um, equity to start off with or more uh, balance and uh, then you're off to the same track. And this is more realistic, right? So when you have a starting balance of $10,000, you can afford to trade with one lot. And um, so let's, let's look at that. So with $10,000, you can either go using the linear method you can either go to fifteen thousand dollars you know and earn your five thousand dollars of profit or you can be smart about how you reinvest your funds use the fixed ratio method quite quite a risky setup but never, nevertheless you get from ten thousand dollars to thirty seven thousand dollars that's twenty seven thousand uh, dollars profit and um, that's that to me is that's just really, really good trading. Um, of course, you want to be a bit more conservative. Let's go back to $1,000 uh, delta. And still, you get from $10,000, you get to $25,000. So um, here you got a choice of either um, using the linear method and earning, as always, $5,000 or um, earning $15,000. So three, once again, three times more profit uh, just by being smart about how you reinvest your money. Okay, and uh, number of orders. Let's have a look at a bit more. Let's say you continue trading and you went up to 30 orders. As you can see, we keep going and up and up and up these steps. Um, and once again, we are assuming here that all the trades are profitable, which, which is never the case. So you have to account for that, that you will probably, um, you will have losses at some stages. But if your trading strategy is a good one, uh, it will be able to pull out of those and continue um, proceeding uh, going forward. So let's let's just, for example, look at, um, I don't know, 100. So you can see right away we're doing heaps of steps here. And uh, every, every single step is four orders. And um, with 100 orders, with the linear method, we would have gotten to about $40,000. With 100 orders with the fixed ratio method, we got up to... Three hundred and forty thousand dollars. So you can see once again how effective this method can be. How it can drastically change the outcomes of your trading, and you don't have to really do much. You don't really have to change your trading strategy. You just have to keep in control of your money management. Okay, so that was the linear method versus the fixed ratio method. Next time we're going to add the Larry Williams method into the mix um, and spice it up a little bit. It'll be quite an interesting tutorial. I look forward to seeing you then and until next time, happy trading.